And welcome everyone to the Streamsy community call for, for May 2023. And as usually as the first point on the agenda, we have the open forum. If anyone has any questions and issues not on the agenda they want to raise, now is the time you can do it. And as usually, nobody seems to have anything. In which case, the next point on the agenda is uh, about the PRs and uh, issues. I added two issues there. Uh, I think they are both about some system tests. Uh, so this one is a draft, but there was no change in it for quite a long time. Should we close it? I will ask Jan about it. However, he's out now until end of the May. So uh, I'm not sure if he will be able to work on it, but I will, I will get some update at least. And the second one is about documentation for the tests. I know Lukas is now at school. Yeah, we agreed that we will move it out of the streams organization, but we didn't uh, make any any steps to finish it. So I think we will work on it uh, after Lukas will get back. And uh, maybe we can close this one because it won't be uh, ready for March anyway. Okay, so you check with Jan for the other one and then uh, yeah, we will see. Yep. Okay, anyone has any other PRs or issues they want to discuss? Hearing nothing, then the next section on the agenda are proposals. Uh, Tom, I just added here the unidirectional topic operator. I wondered if it would make sense to close the vote and merge it as approved. Yeah, I just there's a few more comments I just need to go through. I think you left a, a last few, and I know Paolo did as well. Um, I've been meaning to do that, but I've been um, distracted by. Um, okay. testing. But yeah, it's certainly my intention to close the vote at this point. Anyone else wants to discuss any other proposals? In that case, if nothing is for other proposals, the issue triage is next. Uh, let me zoom this a bit. So the first issue is about the configurable options for GC logging. We already discussed this last time. We wanted to have the author let us know if he has some special use case, but nobody came back. So I guess we should close it.
So like this, does it make sense? It's good to me. Okay, thanks. Okay, the next one, so this one we said we do it with the next major release. Uh, so this one seems to be a bug in the release process uh, where uh, the, the index YAML for the chart is generated separately from the in kind of different stage of the release than the actual archive with the Helm chart, which is done by the CI. So that's something what should be changed in the release process. So I think it doesn't actually seem that Helm is doing any checking of the checksums, but yeah, you have to do it manually. But uh, yeah, it seems like something we should try to fix by changing the way how the index YAML is updated. Or it's a long time since I had anything to do with the helm charts, so I can't really comment, Jakob. Yeah, Sounds the, the... plausible though. The index YAML is the is the kind of the, the Helm chart repository which you can add to your local Helm chart installation to install the charts. I think we can fix it. One of the ways we can fix it is that we stop keeping the index in the operator's repo and keep it only on the website where it's actually used. And that way we actually don't need to update the index YAML in the, in the Git tag before the CI use the tag to build the tar. And that way we should get the right signature. Okay, uh, I guess I will look at it as part of the next release. So we just remove the triage tag. Okay, next one is about proper error message in the, when cruise control fails to generate the Kafka rebalance proposal where right now we basically just say that it failed because of error now. Uh, Shubham, I think you are already working on it. Yeah, um, I, I've got the problem as I have already discussed with you on the comments in this issue. Yeah, I just wanted to test it with your scenario when I was getting some issues when I was enabling the rack. So yeah. If it, I'll just test it. If it works fine with your test, your scenario, then I'll probably push a PR and then maybe ask for suggestions from Kyle and Paolo. 
Okay, so let's keep it. And let's remove the triage tank. So then the next thing is something about the user raised this week. Uh, Tom, you might know more about it, but for some reason, the spec section in the Kafka topic does not seem to be required, but it looks like the operator checks if it's present or not. And if it's not present, then uh, it silently ignores it without any, any message, without changing the status, uh, anything. Ooh. Um... That's interesting. I wonder what the best way of dealing with that is. If it's, I mean, from a schema point of view, to make it required would be a breaking change. On the other hand, if it doesn't work, if it's not there. Um... So I, I don't know why the check is there, to be honest. Because if you create the topic with empty spec section, then it works fine. So the topic operator itself doesn't require the spec section, but like it doesn't need anything in the spec section, but it needs yeah. it to not be not be now. But <laughs> So my thought was that kind of in the long term, we should make the spec change re spec section required. Yeah. So I, I would not necessarily enable the topics without the spec section to work, but I think it would be nice to at least kind of in, in, in the code, there seems to be a simple if which checks if it's null or not, but there's no else which would lock some error and say, topic blah 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 is without a spec section and will be ignored or something like that so i think mm -hmm. one of the possible solutions would be to simply add there some log message to lock the error or warning or something and and let the user know yeah i mean that's another possibility but then what does the path to making it required look like why can't we just make it re required now? Well, it, if you make it required now, I don't know. It's it's a bit weird because the topic without the spec section doesn't do anything. But if you make it required for the existing versions, then strictly speaking, it's breaking change to the API. Yep. So I think if you want it to is. follow the API, then it would be only the next version of the API where you make it required. Yeah, let's let's log for now. Um, and then we're going to have to start thinking about, I guess, V1, theta 3, or just straight V1. Um, but that's a conversation for another day. So like this. Yeah, that's fine.
So if it's just adding a log message, I guess it might be a good start. Yeah. Okay. And then the last issue. is what Jakub added today morning, which is about the validation of the Kafka Connect build Docker name when it's missing the tag, I think, if it's right. Yeah. There, yeah, if it's not there, we get this ugly, string index out of bounds exception. So I would say we should add some more user-friendly validation to throw invalid resource configuration exception or whatever the exact name is, or something like that when the tag is uh, missing. Or anyone disagrees? Okay, hearing nothing, I guess everyone agrees. And I guess this could be a good start issue as well. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, so that should be the triage for today. And that's it for the planned agenda today. So does anyone have uh, anything else they want to discuss? Going once, going twice. Okay, in that case, I guess that's it for today's call, so. Thanks a lot for joining and see you next time. Thank you. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 Yeah.